Hello everybody, so as you can see I'm in the car and the sun is shining. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to try and do a full day barn vlog today. Uh, so I'm at the Buddhas and we're going to start this off with opening some packages. Okay, so it's a really bad angle, but bear with me. Um, I have three packages and I also have like um, four packages for my sister. So, yeah. so let's open this first one. Uh, yeah. This is I'm put this down here. This is from uh, Dublin. From horse, can you see that? It's just some riding tights in grey. I am uh, really excited to try these. I'm just gonna fill the fabric. Yeah, I'm really excited to try these. These are uh, Dublin. Um, Performance call it gel riding tights in grey, so I'm not gonna open these here. I'm gonna wait till I get home And uh, The next one is also from horse uh, because Horse in Norway have like um, Different offers so sometimes like on Sundays you have Sunday off with like 15 or less. other days you have other offers off so I tend to order because sometimes you only get the percentage of one of the things you buy so that's why I tend to order multiple packages because I'm poor and I need all the all the uh, percentage of that I can get so the first thing is not that exciting, it's just vitamins, it's the same ones that I used on Siku. I'm gonna try on the Buddha because she is very picky and does not eat other vitamins with flavour and anything. And the next thing is this lunging roller uh, with like rings and everything so I can lunge her. That's that. The final thing is from Horse Me Up, and this is a saddle pad. It's really windy. <laughs> in dressage. This is the Cartago diamond in uh, red and because I think the Buddha is going to look really good in red. So like this and it's got like different bindings. Okay, so I just um, mixed her feet, um, the tiny brown blob there. It's the vitamin, just put in a tiny bit. I'm sorry I didn't bring you along with the mixing of the feet, but I forgot. And then we're gonna do this today. This is a test for whether or not there are worms or parasites in the horse. So I need to do that, but she usually poops when she's taken when I take her in. So some treats because she's finally started to eat some treats, and uh, a grooming kit. So I always put the grooming kit in here uh, like so and then big 
make some treats and put them in my pocket because yeah if she I need treats to um train her basically uh so the reason why I uh, need treats uh, when handling the Buddha is uh, something I haven't really talked about this on this channel. Oh, sunlight. <laughs> but basically, um, the Buddha hasn't been handled a lot. She's very green. And so we've had some problems with things such as um, putting on the bridle, lifting her legs, stuff like that, and um, it went rather well for a while, but then we had a bit of a setback, and it was pretty bad because, shit, <laughs> I'm going into the cellar, <laughs> and it was slippery. Um, yeah, so it was um, so bad that I got a bit of an injury. Uh, so my arm is slightly a little is hurting um, because she I, I don't know it's a combination of she pushing me and like I me using my arm to stop her and I did some digging with a shovel in the ice which wasn't very smart of me and then also, I got like my um, the left side of my lower back um, was really painful, like my hip and my lower back, because she was like pushing me over and into the wall and stuff like that. And so, yeah, so I got like I think it's like a pulled muscle, but slightly worse because it didn't feel like a pulled muscle uh, it felt better worse but then I haven't really had much pain in my back before so maybe I'm exaggerating um, but it was really bad but uh, it's gotten slightly better now so on we go <laughs> so we are in the cellar and I just need to fill up some water because I want to be sure that she drinks something after she's had her hard feed um, so I always fill up like half a bucket of water for her and I also need because we have had such cold weather uh, all our stuff has been frozen so I had to put it in the cellar because it's actually warmer here that's enough yeah, so it's actually warmer here and uh, because of the heat for the house, which is down here. So that's why everything is in this room. So I'm just gonna get some... Uh, uh, go. <laughs> I'm trying to find the Vaseline basically I'm not sure where it is uh, there it is because I saw the last time I put her bit on that she was slightly that she was slightly dry so I'm gonna use that I need this and Shoshin or oh, this is conditioner oh, and I need another hand so I'll put you guys away for now so I cut open some carrots for her as well and now I think I'm gonna go get her so put all the stuff there and I put my long white leader up there so I can hold her and 
like so she thinks that she's tied up basically well i'm uh, tip, like picking her feet out so yeah so it's a bit windy today but i hope that you can hear me Uh, so Deborah and Brooks are sort of like, I think they're like boyfriend and girlfriend. Hi! I'm gonna need both hands to get her out, but just wanted to show you. Hi, Pony! Hey! As you can see, she's gotten a lot better and I think I figured out a way to get her to um, listen and I always use treats after she has uh, lifted her leg as like a reward and a good motivation. So yeah, so I'm just gonna Groom her a bit. Like, do something to her tail, for example. It's just. Yeah. So. Good girl! Good girl! So we're going to try this today. So we are now going for a walk. Deborah has a bridle on and a walker rug. So I'm not riding her on a hack yet because I don't really know her that well and I've only ridden her like three times. So yeah, we're just taking it easy. She's still very young. So there was just this huge lorry that uh, passed us and the Buddha was so good. She didn't blink. It was so amazing. So. And now I'm leading her on the wrong side for her. And she's like, what's going on? I don't understand. Back from our little walk. And uh, Deborah has her hard feed and a bucket of water. So I'm just letting her eat before I put her rug on. Because when I put her rug on, she has a tendency to get very stressed out and want to go out immediately. So 
just so that she finishes all her food, I do not put her rug on while she's eating. So we are also practicing this, not being scared of the door. So yeah, and she's not really scared about it, of it, but I don't dare to to open, look close it when she's inside yet. So somebody's waiting for her <laughs> already. Come on. So Deborah is outside again. She's eating hay. And this guy is like, and me, and me too. I also want some attention. <laughs> so yeah, I just need to tidy up a bit and then I need to pick up some poop because even though they're outside 24 hours a day, you do need to muck out. So yeah. Okay, so I've done the whole shed, picked up all the poo and evened out the shavings. And then I've done some poo on the outside here. So I'm going to do the little bit of what that's left and then I'm going to quit because my arm is not good. So, yeah. Okay, I just tempted a wheelbarrow so I'm a bit out of breath because it was really heavy. But look, they make holes in the hay net with their feet. And guess <laughs> who exploited one of those holes? Yeah. Did you just empty out the whole hay net? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we have to muck out because, as you can see, they poop a lot <laughs> because they have uh, free access to hay 24-7. So yeah, but now I am going home. Just gonna have to set, put the wheelbarrow in place, in its place, and then I need to turn on the electricity. Whew. So that was all for today's vlog. I'm now super tired and in pain and sweaty, but at least the Buddha has had a good day and I had a good day. And I'm just gonna take the car and go home. So if you enjoyed this vlog, please comment or subscribe to my channel. I currently have a giveaway going on and uh, yeah, I'll see you next week. Bye!